I would say the most trickiest part of this integral is knowing what to substitute into it. At first you might try 9 minus x squared as the u substitution but soon find that the integral is very difficult to solve. Over here I have a list of general forms that will help you recognize what trig substitutions you need to do. I recommend memorizing these three expressions to know when you need to use trig substitution. It's not very obvious when you need to do it. So in this example, we have 9 minus x squared. This is in the same formula as a squared minus x squared. In this example, a would be 3 because 3 squared equals 9. If we have this, we can focus on our first row. And we let x equal to 3 sine theta. This will be our substitution. Rewrite the integral, we would have 1 on the square root of 9 minus, or x squared is 9 sine squared theta. And we also need to replace it dx, so we find the derivative of x dx d theta equals to 3 cos theta. So substituting dx, we have dx equals to 3 cos theta times d theta. So our next step is to recognize that this is 9, a common factor of 9 under the square root. We can factor that out. So we have 3 cos theta times d theta over the square root of 9. Take 9 out, you have 1 minus sine squared theta. Now, we, we go back to our reference table and see how we use this substitution. Well, from the table, it tells us that if we use this substitution, we expect to use this trick identity. So we have the square root of 3 cos theta dot d theta over the bracket 9. And instead of 1 minus sine squared theta, we have cos squared theta. So as you can see, everything cancels out nicely after we take the square root. If we take the square root of this term over here, we're left with 3 cos theta. So both of them cancel out, and we're left with the integral of d theta. And this simply results in theta plus c as our integration. Our last step is to find an expression for theta since we want to integrate this term with respect to x. So we have over here theta equals to the inverse sine of x on 3. Our final answer would be the inverse sine of or x on 3 plus c.